In 1973, 70 tenant tillers and small farmers formed the Samahang Nayon with the assistance of the Department of Local Government and Community Development or DLGCD. In 1992, the organization was transformed and registered as a full-fledged multi-sectoral, multi-purpose agricultural cooperative now known as the Lamak Multipurpose Cooperative. Over the years, Lamak MPC has metamorphosed and is now one of the biggest and most diversified cooperative in the country. The hardships experienced by its 70 pioneering members is Lamak MPC's inspiration as it continued to endeavor by holistically responding to the empowerment needs of the vulnerable sector through its various socio-economic programs. From the initial membership of 70 farmers, Lamak MPC has now a total of 105,000 members from various sectors to include farmers and fisher folks, micro-entrepreneurs, laborers, OFWs, SMEs, youth, women, PWDs, and senior citizens. The agri-sector takes around 60% of its total membership. Originating from a remote mountain barangay in southwestern Cebu, Lamak MPC is now in 49 branches and satellite offices, 32 of which are in Cebu, 6 in Bohol, 4 in Negros Occidental, 4 in Leyte, and 3 in Southern Leyte. The initial CBU of 3,500 pesos is now a huge 2.3 billion pesos assets as of 2020, supporting the various socio-economic projects of the cooperative, catering to the varied needs of its members. Lamak MPC successfully established a number of projects to include its water system project, now serving a total of 887 households, co-op mart, bakery, credit and savings, which is one of the biggest portfolio of the cooperative with around 60% of it supporting farmers and fisher folks. Five resorts, including one with a wave pool, four in the mountainside and one in the beach area, which significantly contributed to an increased tourism activities in Pinamungahan, Cebu. Soap and candle making projects, water refilling station, dealership venture with Coca-Cola Philippines, housing project, which is currently benefiting 125 beneficiaries, dormitory project in Cebu City, being managed by its youth members, two gasoline pump stations, garments making as assisted by DTI in 2019, and benefiting 54 women and youth. Driven by its vision and mission of elevating the plight of its farmer members, Lamak MPC further diversified its operations through its agro-enterprise development program guided by the clustering and value chain approach in agriculture. In 2013, the clustering approach was brought to materialize through the Farmers' Entrepreneurship Program via the tripartite partnership of Jollibee Group Foundation, Catholic Relief Services, and the National Livelihood Development Corporation, which aims to transform farmers into entrepreneurs. The clustering approach was strongly supported by the Department of Agriculture. Lamak MPC institutionalized the clustering approach in all its agri-enterprises and offers holistic services to speed up in alleviating the lives of its smallholder farmers such as access to capital, capability training, insurances, and facilitate market linkages. Over the years, Lamak MPC continued to select its right partners as it overcomes the challenges and help farmers deal their fears of sustaining their chosen enterprise. Lamak MPC also initiates to complete the agricultural value chain from production to product development, processing, market, and even bringing in farm tourism. All this yielded to positive results and outcomes. To date, Lamak MPC has different clusters of farmers and fisher folks actively participating in the agro-enterprise development program. Each cluster is composed of 10 to 15 farmers and elect from themselves six officers such as 
Cluster Leader, Production Coordinator, Post Harvest Coordinator, Cluster Secretary, Cluster Treasurer, and Food Safety Officer to help monitor the food safety standards compliance, promote good decision-making, and practice shared leadership. In 2014, the vegetable farmer clusters were formed. They produce fresh and safe vegetables, program their planting and match the volume requirements of the market, while Lamac MPC consolidates and sells to its 110 institutional buyers. Even at the height of the pandemic, Lamac MPC continues to supply fresh vegetables to Cebuanos through the Kadiwa on Wheels program of the Department of Agriculture, which provided reefer van and howling trucks that has helped sustain the enterprise of the vegetable clusters. Lamac MPC also ventured in cacao enterprise in partnership with the Kenimers and Land Bank a cacao seedling nursery with the capacity to raise 600,000 cacao seedlings was established in Pandakan, Pinamungahan. Cacao farmer clusters were organized and a total of 500 hectares were planted. A total income of 14.30 million pesos was recorded for 2015 to 2019. For the processing of safe and quality tableya, a processing plant was established through the DTI Shared Service Facility. In 2015, the Dairy Farmer Clusters in Toledo City and Pinamungahan was formed in partnership with the Philippine Carabao Center as it works to further provide additional income for farmers through dairy production. A dairy milk processing plant was also established through the DTI Shared Service Facility and assistance of PCC for the production of other dairy-based products. As a marketing facility, two dairy box outlets were set up. To further expand its market, Lomac MPC also partners with the DepEd through its daily milk feeding program, serving a total of 73,000 malnourished students in Cebu and Negros. The reefer van provided by the Department of Agriculture helps ensure the safety of the milk during delivery periods. Moving further, in 2017, the Cassava Farmers Cluster in Bugo, Cebu was also organized. DTI, through the SSF on the Department of Agriculture, provided for the facility on the cassava chips and granule processing and a warehouse. For market, Lamac MPC partners with San Miguel Food Incorporated for cassava granules and chips. Since Lamac MPC has proven to have excellent management capabilities and a good reputation of running a business enterprise, in 2015, the co-op was chosen as one of the PCA's partners in Kaanib AgroHub project to engage in coconut choir and allied product processing. Being new to the said enterprise, Lamac MPC expressed to PCA that while waiting for the hub project to materialize, they wanted to develop its technical and management capability of the said business venture, and thus, PCA provided one old rehabilitated and unused decorticating machine in 2017. PCA considered the cooperative as one of the beneficiaries of a one-set choir processing equipment plus technical assistance through skills trainings. We love the project, and then we approached the PCA to help us na maglakbay aral mi dito sa Mindanao. And it came out that, oh, it's really a good project. It's a zero waste. I can justify that Coco is really a tree of life. Lamac MPC purchased an 8-hectare lot in Colonia Tuburan, Cebu for the Coco Hub Processing Facility and Coconut Farmer Clusters were then organized. The choir processing facility in Tuburan was fully operational in 2020. Aside from choir-based products, Lamac MPC has also diversified its coconut product lines by producing cocoa sugar, virgin coconut oil, and coconut water-treated sardines and other cocoa water-infused food products. Food product innovations in the Cocoa Hub site was made possible through the co-op's collaboration with Cebu Technological University. Markets of coconut products include DPWH, various contractors, and several local buyers. 
Ongoing efforts are also being undertaken to respond to a huge export market for Coco Pit. Lamac MPC has also partnered with DOST Region 7 in the establishment of the first Science for the People Smart Food Value Chain Facility and Manufacturing Village in the Coco Hub site in Tuburan, Cebu. This facility provides the much-needed food safety and quality testing facilities and services closer to the people in the countryside and enables the development of significant technologies to provide value on the handling of produce and its conversion to safe, high-quality, value-added products. There are still a number of farmer clusters organized by LAMAC MPC to include corn and rice farmers, cat flower farmer clusters, hag racer farmer clusters in Cebu in partnership with Virginia Farms, fisher folk farmer clusters, free-range chicken farmer clusters, and youth farmer clusters under the Sustainable Youth Educational Program of the Cooperative. All these farmer clusters are market-driven and monitored daily by LAMAC MPC's hired agritechnicians assigned in every area to mentor and monitor farmers' performance and progress. To further professionalize agriculture, LAMAC MPC also established its farm school in partnership with TESDA and ATI. Farm Tourism was also initiated in partnership with the Department of Tourism. Lamak MPC's clustered farms have benefited more than 5,000 families. Soaring high since 1973, Lamak MPC continues to implement successful initiatives and programs in the agriculture sector. And what could have been the contributing factors behind its success? Lamak is the one of the Parplang Barangay of the town of Pinamunguhan. We are very near to the boundaries city and municipality, but very far to our own municipality. And that is not a big challenge. Pag cater na to sila ang mga inputs sa itong mga mag-uuma. Because we started nothing, we have only a limited cost, and then we source out our own funds. All the mobilization, ang maghihimo, managun me, para lang anay, funds ang organization. And we always believe that prayer is powerful. And it is our faith that really gives us the inspiration to believe God's intervention. And it is not inculcated in the mind and heart of our members, so that there will be a solid cooperation. After that consumer store, we find out that the need of our farmers is not only more on the consumption, but rather to also increase their production. So that is why we opened the lending facility. Our financial cannot cope up during the time, so we also link to land bank. Despite of some challenges, is that we are a risk taker because of our passion to reach our goal. So what we did is just to visit my existing cooperative nearby are operating also the same as we have and then we just copy you know, all their uh, best practices and our mission is to strongly respond this vulnerable sector and that is why our target clientele should be the small farmers and small fisher folks including the coconut farmers. As of today uh, our aim is to consolidate make our services diversified not only limited of our expertise I also believe that conversion is the key to the success of the sustainability of our organization. In 2015, we started in uh, our partnership with the PCA, who challenged us also to be a partner in helping the cocoa farmers. Through conversion, government facility like the Cocoa Hub is a great help no, of the organization. It is true that cocoa enterprise is a zero waste enterprise. There are so many challenges, no? I should be honest that I really don't know to run the business. When PCA introduced the Coco Hub to us, we always know that this project will benefit the, the small farmers, especially the coconut farmers. Lamak and PC will not hesitate to accept it. Not because we don't know, not because we don't have resources, but we could be an instrument in bridging the gap para maabot nga dito sa mga tao. And we're thinking on the consolidation. All of the small cocoa farmers or cocoa association, we will welcome them and then 
uh, manikamot ta na kung sa mga gani ang volume sa to market, we have to pass ito nila so that the MACNA will be the consolidator. That is one way that we could now uh, respond no, the need of the in terms of quality and quantity. And I'm so happy to share with you that when Pobre magkausa, their peso will become thousand millions. And we will not stop until God will say, okay na ang mga katawan. Ako dahil si Ligaya Miras, taga Sudlon, Cebu City. Ako ang cluster head dari sa among barangay. Sa una, giyod kami dari, dili lang kay ako. Ang kami giyod tanan dari mag-uuma. Mga, mga small farmers lang ba? Liso giyod ka ayaw mi dari. Kaya wala mi kakukaan sa among mga financial. Kanang gamit gani na mo sa pang-uma. Or mas kitaw ko na to um kanang pang adlaw-adlaw namo nga panginahanglon mag maglisod mi pangitaon pasa namo usa mi makakaon yun anak kalisod ang farmer diri sa sudlon sa una paguman sa Yolanda ni abot pud ang lamak diri mura gituyo gid sa Ginoo nga mura sila itubag sa amo ang gipanginahanglan sa amo mga problema ni adtong higayuna kay ang amo adyong damgo din hingdapita nga mga, makakita ra jud mi og kanang permanente bitaw nga merkado para sa amo mga utanon so ni apil ra jud ko ato din paghuman diretso ra jud ko pa member wala ko nag-expect nga mahimo akong cluster leader ang gusto ra jud nako mo deliver so ni abot si lamak diri ni introduce ani nga programa sa Farmer Entrepreneurship Program or FEP money nga ka sa pagkakaroon ang among grupo murag kaloy sa Ginoo ning lungtad siya ning lambo pinaagi pod sa pagtabang sa among mga farm partners kay daghan na kayo mi partners nga nitabang kanamo karon ang amo ang pagpanguma karon hayahay na ay na nami mga gamit mga kanang bago nga technology kay sa una magbisbisbisbis mi amo mang kabuon karon na nami mga water pump mga power spray parehas anay amo ang rain shelter kani di ay siya makapa-increase ni sa amo ang kanang production sa amo ang lettuce kay kung uwano nang among lettuce wala patay karon murag na bukas na gani amo ang panghuna-huna nga kanang mga bago nga teknolohiya kinahanglan jud mi mo adapt ana para sa improvement sa amo ang pag pag-uma kanang sa amo sang pangadlaw-adlaw ginhawa na jud dili na gyud ingon nga pangitaon pa na ako mga kauban na may mga sakyanan na indot na ilang mga balay nya makapaeskwela na pud bisa mo mga anak sa college maka kuha na gani ka nga nana jud moy gamayng tigum Ako di ay si Emilia Himarino, nagpuyo diri sa Mohon Kulina Tuburan, Cebu. Membro ko sa Lamak Multipurpose Cooperative. Una di ay na, nga, kuanan mi sa Lamak, yopiran mi, nga, gitigaan mi niya agluna, nga, among kabalhinan, tapos ilang il il gitagaan o kanang trabaho. Amauna ni Karun, nga, nagkuanan mi sa kanang pagkuanan ng trabaho diri sa party sa lobby. Kay kami diri puro ra jud mga stamina sa balay ba mga mama nya motong na nagsorbi man ang taga lama ka pwede sila muhatak og trabaho sa mga ginikanan nga walay nara sa balay nga pwede maka kuan og trabaho nga naara diri sa ato ara pud nga maka trabaho pa ta sa tuan nya maka kuan ta maka trabaho pa ta diri sa lama karon kay dako kay katabang namo ka maka pamalit na jud mi unsa among gusto kay naka kuan nami sa lama ba na nami ma income nga makuan pud namo mo nag unsa among ma Mahim mo makakuha na dyan eh. Na dyan na na yung kanang gamay improvement ba? Which 107.5? Sine, sine, wala tayo. I'm Insoy Ninyal. Na ako sa banda, Bising Filimon. Then my wife is also an events organizer. Pero pag ikaw sa pandemic, na undang tanan nga business kay katong amo ang mga patrabaho nagsaligbon to siya og gathering so na undang tanan because of the lockdown so nanguli me we decided to go home to pinamungahan my hometown to start 
life anew no na bala kami kay wala mi pangidabuhi ana no undang tanong source of income so we started looking for other sources of income nga aron mabuhi lang mi so na kay meet kog mga officers sa Lama Cooperative and then nagang yung produkto ang Lama nga nga nakita namo nga potential kay siya nga mahimong hot item online ang dako gyud ato nga item nga nakita namo dako ay potential ang PC made from cocoa fiber mamuto panahon na nga kusugay ang mga plantito o plantita nga nahinay nag saka so ang cocoa rope amo nakita tungod kay pwede sa gimuong kaang pwede sa gimuong cocoa poles o daghan pangutang nga magamit sa garden so moto we started selling the twine the, the cocoa rope online the nationwide niya Shopee na siya ang nakita no so we started with about Five, uh, 400 to 500 in town ka PC and then just a matter of weeks ting tubo siya in 2000s and then nabot ang point nga ang Coco Hub sa cooperative dili na maka supply sa demand because kipila raman ang mamuhat ng PC kay di naman maato ang orders so ang Lama Cooperative mo deliver na dire weekly like 2000 to 3000 ropes nabot to 5000 gani a week we had a deal with Coop nga tagaan tag finder dire sa pinamungahan mismo gi distribute ato sa mga households dire so ning hatag ang cooperative og training adin ani nga households so we buy the ropes from them ug kita na mo baligya sa Shopee we built this store uh, out of the sales nga nakuha nato sa Coco Ropes so this is a store that's built by Bunot no so Coop really helped us and then until karon magsigi gigug ingon and whenever we are invited to talk it's Coop and the Coop business sa Coop nga nakatabang gyud in town sa namo ni Mrs nga mabuhi and in turn nakatabang kun sa mga communities diri sa sa pinamungahan nga makapamugas-bugas pud in town sila pinagmay Indeed, Lamak MPC's success story is a God-given inspiration and motivation for our coconut farmer organizations. Mm -hmm.